Assalamu alaikum welcome to our own skills our today's topic of discussion is the life of babsi sidwa her literary career and her achievements let's have a glance let's go through the life of babsi sidwa babsi sidwa was born in a parsi family on august 11 1936 in karachi pakistan in her early childhood her parents moved to lahore and she grew up there in lahore and then she did her graduation from kennard college lahore let's have a glance on marriage and family life of babsi sidwa she was married when she was simply 19 years old and moved to her husband's home in bombay life had a lot of fun because of a vast parsi community and liberal atmosphere in bombay but unfortunately this sort of life lasted for 5 years only as she was divorced then had to move back to lahore here again she was married her new husband no sheer sidwa was a businessman sidwa's life was idle the idleness of life made her to search for an activity which could fill her idle time as well as give her a chance to express herself and give her sense of fulfillment let's go through the literary career of babsi sidwa babsi sidwa is one of the outstanding english fiction writers of pakistan She has produced four English novels that reflect her personal experience of partition of India, abuse against women, cultures and natures of various communities living in India and Pakistan. Once Babsi had to visit the Karakara mountain. There she came to know about a girl who was brought to this area as a bride. The girl ran away from her husband's home, considering it a very dishonorable act. The tribesmen of the area hounded her and murdered her. The tragic fate of the unfortunate girl had a deep effect on Babsi's heart, and she decided to tell the girl's story in the form of fiction writing. Babsi Sidwa produced four novels that are discussed ahead. The first one is The Bride, the second one is The Crow Eaters, the third one is An Ice Candy Man, and the fourth one is An American Brat. First novel of Babsi Sidwa. Babsi Sidwa based her first novel, The Bride, on the tragic story of this girl. While she was writing this novel, she felt that she had by nature a special power and taste of writing fiction. She completed this novel in four years. Second novel of the Babsi Sidwa is The Crow Eaters. As she enjoyed writing much, she took her second novel, Crow Eaters, in her hand soon after it. The novel is about Parsi community of Pakistan. The title of the novel marks the general characteristics of the Parsi community. They are also excessively intoxicative. The third novel of Babsi Sidwa is An Ice Candy Man. Sidwa's third novel is An Ice Candy Man also published as the name of Cracking India. It is a novel which established Sidwa's fame as a promising English novelist of South Asia. and placed her among the likes Khushwant Singh, Anita Desai, and R.K. Narayan. Ice Candy Man, Cracking India tells us the story of how India was divided under the sway of colonial needs and religious identities. This novel is a story of harrowing violence which arose among those people who lived in an atmosphere of brotherhood. The fourth novel of Babsi Sidwa is An American Broth. Sidwa's fourth novel is a very readable novel. It is about the young Firoza who goes to America from Pakistan to study. The heroine Firoza is a charming and believable character. Firoza's parents send her to stay with an uncle of her some three years older than her. Sidwa handles the uncle-niece relationship very well indeed making uncle's quirky behavior plausible. and Firoza's response appealing. Let's go through the experience of Babsi Sidwa that how much it was difficult for Babsi Sidwa to get her work published and how did she manage to get it published. As we are familiar with Sidwa that she enjoyed her novels much. However, getting them published was not an easy task. Therefore, she decided to publish and distribute novels herself. She tells us about her experience of publishing Crow Eaters It was very frustrating to paddle your own books as I did in Lahore. 
I would go from bookstore to bookstore saying, please read the novel Crow Eaters. The bookstore owners rejected the novel and made discouraging remarks. Sidwa became so dejected that she wrote nothing for five years. In 1980, when Britain's Jonathan Cape decided to publish Crow Eaters, Sidwa felt encouraged to take work of writing in her, in her hand once again. Here we go through the achievements of Babsi Sidwa. She received numerous awards and honorary professorships for her novels. Awards include the Pakistan National Honors of the Patras Bukhari Award for her novel Bride in 1985 and the highest honor in the arts Sitara Imtiaz in 1991. Her third novel Cracking India won the German Literature Paris and a nomination for Notable Book of the Year from American Library Association and mentioned as a New York Times Notable Book of the Year. In 1991, a Bunting Fellowship of the Arts grant in 1986 and 1987 supported the completion of Cracking India. She was awarded as one lakh US dollar grant as a recipient of Lila Wallace Reader's Digest Award in 1993. Now her works have been translated into Russian, French, and German language. In 1998, Sidwa's Cracking India was adopted into the movie. Earth, a renowned filmmaker Deepa Mehta. In addition to writing and teaching, she has been a vocal proponent of women's rights in the South Asia. She has also infused her work with strong female characters. If you like my video, please give the positive remarks and share it to others. If you like this video, please appreciate it and share it with others. Add that if they could take help from this one.